Alright, look. I love Deltarune. Heck, I even ate, slept, and breathed this game back in October. I mean, seriously, how the heck did I even make this many... Whatever since the beginning of all of... Uh, this... I've always wanted to share this game's secrets and uncover what the plot truly is, and I still plan to do so with some theory videos in the future. So while I am knowledgeable about Deltarune, I got to researching this game and all of its theories to understand what is really going on. And luckily, through all that hard work and effort, I am now... Even more lost than I initially was when it comes to understanding this game's lore. I mean seriously, when Chapter 1 was out, every take on the game's lore I saw was pretty understandable. Now with Chapter 2, however... Oh boy, so many of the theories I've seen scrolling through discords and YouTube comment sections are just way too crazy to believe. I can't even tell at this point if these theories are too outlandish or if the lore really is that deep. Some of the fanbase is so beyond deep in theories like Chris having multiple souls, there being a third entity that controls Chris besides himself and the player, the soul not being the player, and just a wide array of other theories that trying to understand them makes me just go insane. I'm not hating on these theories or saying that they don't have evidence to support them, but with how wild these theories are, it makes me wonder how crazy the story of Deltarune truly is. Thus, if I am really going to understand the lore of Deltarune, I must first answer just how complicated this story is going to get. Now, this is a hard question to answer, but let's take a crack at it. How complicated do we think the entirety of Deltarune's story is going to be? Well, while we may only have two-sevenths of Deltarune out at the moment, we can look at one of Toby Fox's other games in order to gauge just how complicated his stories usually get. Undertale. Now, this is much simpler. We can just examine how complicated Undertale is to get a good idea of how complicated Deltarune will be. So let's start. Well, at its core, Undertale is not a very hard game to understand the essential plot of. At the end of the day, Undertale's plot is about the freedom of choice and what the power of determination can do. It can either be a story about kindness, making new friends, and overcoming the impossible, or a nightmare that shows you what happens when that determination is used for nothing but destruction and personal gain. Overall, pretty simple, right? I mean, I just explained that in like, what, two sentences? I honestly expect Deltarune to go down a similar route in terms of its main story, with it focusing on the importance of friendship and teamwork, but also the dangers of letting your life be determined by the decisions of others. But, you may be saying, that's only the essential plot of Undertale. There are still tons of nooks and crannies you can go down like the mysteries behind Sands and Gasser that don't even have full conclusive explanations in-game. Well, yes, while that is true, it still remains that these little side stories of Undertale don't interfere with the main game or make its actual plot convoluted at all. I mean, the most convoluted thing we get in any of Undertale's main stories is Kara. But even then, I think it's easy to attribute some meaning to them being there, like them either representing consequences or even the natural instinct to grind enemies like you would do with many other RPG characters. Sure, while some Undertale characters may be shrouded in mystery, all the important details surrounding them make sense and don't require a PhD to understand. Well, besides good old wingdings over there. So why do I bring this up? Well, a lot of theories I've seen considering a third entity inside of Chris and pages explaining why Chris is actually Frisk and Kara combined are completely contradictory to the simple core story of Undertale. One of Deltarune's main plot points is the interaction and relationship between Chris and the player, and their fight for control. This is not a side story or a deeper layer like Sans and Gasser are on in Undertale. This is at the forefront of the main plot. This isn't me hating on these theories or saying they have zero basis either. 
In fact, I can definitely see where they're all coming from because I've probably had the same ideas before. However, my point is that these theories would just muddle the core plotline so much that I don't think they're really plausible. So overall, what's the takeaway here? Well, expect the main plot to be pretty simple, while the lore for certain side characters and subplots to be a bit more complex. Again, I'd like to clarify that I'm only saying things like this in relation to the main plot of Deltarune. It's just that a lot of the crazy theories I've seen have to do with Chris or the Soul, main plot points of Deltarune. I will be the first to admit that the side characters and stories of this game like Gaster and Spamton can go super deep, and can even be a bit complicated. It's just overcomplicated theories about the main plot that I don't find plausible. The main story has to be cohesive, and if Toby makes it too complex, it just won't work. So how complicated is Deltarune lore really? The game's lore as a whole will probably be pretty deep, as it already has a lot of layers, but just like Undertale, the main story and details around it are going to remain straightforward and simple. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video. I'd like to make it clear that I don't hate anybody who makes these theories. In fact, I'm glad the fanbase is so active in trying to figure the game out, and these crazy theories are fun to look at and think about. However, if I'm going to make more theory videos about what's really going on in this game, I have to draw a line somewhere at how outlandish something sounds. Speaking of, if you're interested in watching said theories down the line, then consider subscribing. It makes a difference and I'm gonna be uploading some quality Deltarune videos in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.